Well, hello there. My name is Kika, and today I want to give you some mobile photo tips to take better photos with your phone. Because, here's the thing. By now, you have probably taken a photo or two with your mobile phone. Why am I sitting like this? What is this? Like a cowboy <laughs> stance. Um, you've probably taken a few photos with your phone, and I still see, like, especially on places like Instagram, where I hang out a lot, people sharing photos that are otherwise maybe very nice, but then some of these like very rudimentary and simple things they could have done while taking the photo that is quite obviously taken with the phone um, to make them so much better. And especially in Instagram stories, I see quite many things over and over again. So I just thought like I'd share these tips quickly with you because they're all tips that I've also um, kind of some mistakes maybe that I've learned along the way. So um, that is the reason for sharing this. I hope you find it useful and um, informationful, I was gonna say, but that is not really an English word, I don't think. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's get to the tips. I'm out here in the Botanical Garden in Helsinki filming some B-roll for this video, and I just thought I'd say something about mobile versus camera for a second, because I do take my, most of my photos with my camera, but for some photos, I actually prefer to take it with the mobile phone. I don't know, there is some kind of graininess and a bit of rawness. Okay, now it's like drain. Uh, okay, uh, it's the rawness that you get with the mobile phone that you don't get with the camera necessarily. So especially with photos that you're just taking something that is quite close by, like a kind of close shot. For example, I do these with, I have my hands in the frame. Um, for those, I usually prefer to use my mobile actually instead of my camera. It's also just much easier and less hassle to have to like set up the tripod and all that. Um, and I definitely think if you're sort of in the beginning of your photography journey, Practicing while taking with the mobile phone is really really good way and you can wait sort of until you get that first camera Okay, so the first thing um, or the first tip I'm gonna give you is uh, Something I see still people doing which is they have a bit of smudge on their lens um, And I see this especially like with Instagram stories So you can just see that the picture is not quite sharp which usually means that you just maybe you know planted your finger on top of the lens before taking the photo. So just take those few extra seconds and wipe your lens before taking the photo and definitely also use this camera instead of that camera. It is just much better quality. No. <laughs> the second tip is to shoot in daylight. So in natural light instead of artificial light. Um, so usually those kind of photos that are taken uh, indoors where there wasn't really enough light and then you see kind of this yellowy, very grainy uh, photo that just doesn't look so great, especially if it's a photo that you put a lot of effort into and you're trying to do something uh, quite nice, then uh, really be close to a window if you're indoors or then go outside where there is some daylight and natural light, then your colors will just look much better. And it, yeah, the quality of the overall photo is just taken to that next level where we all want to be. <laughs> Ooh. It's getting like ridiculously dark in here and it's only like 3 p.m. in the afternoon Which brings us to the third point which is to take the exposure down so at least in the iPhones uh, I've noticed that the camera usually or the phone camera usually wants to overexpose the photo a little Which is a bit of a problematic thing when you then want to edit the photo um, Because it might get a little washed out and then you can't really get those details back So what you can do at least on the iPhone you can just tap the screen and then you just uh, draw your finger down a little bit and that will take the exposure down and then will give you more alternatives to work on in the editing phase. Use your abs! The fourth tip is to get your lines straight. So this is really something that will separate you from amateur to a pro is to get your lines straight and it's especially tricky with the iPhone because it is such a little thing and kind of a little flimsy um, so it's easy to get it like crooked or you hold it in like weird position But really try to be mindful to get the line straight and the horizon straight um, And also if you take a photo of a building try to be so far back so you can really get it like as, as straight as possible basically kind of flat perspective um, And of course you can do something about this in editing later But if it's really like skewed and perspective is all off it just doesn't look so great So try to be mindful about that when you are taking the photo already Oh wow, I just uh, was walking along here with my camera and then this huge hair jumped up from like behind a tree and it just kept staring at me. It didn't like shy away and run away immediately or jump away immediately. Oh, so cool. <laughs> the next tip is to think of rule of thirds and your composition. So this is kind of the curse of our day and age where we want everything snapped like immediately and with the iPhone, it's or phone, sorry, Android phones as well. 
Uh, it's no different. It's so easy to just snap away like mindlessly. Um, but I think if you want a nice photo, really take a second there. Like, all right, be present. Think about what it is you're actually seeing in the frame and try to compose the photo already there. And so the rule of third is basically just a very good kind of rule of thumb to go by. So it is if you um, put like two lines or divide the frame into two lines horizontally and two vertically and then there's this point where these lines meet. So the rule of thirds is to basically have like kind of the elements in your photo um, on those lines or then in just the middle. Um, so think about that and be mindful and just don't like sort of snap away and think like, ah, you'll fix it later. Um, it's really there that a photo will be broken or made. Yes. <laughs> Okay, it's getting like really dark in here. I'm not sure if I will be able to finish this video. Ah! And tomorrow I'm going to Burma for two weeks and I'm not sure how much Wi-Fi we will have. So I'm trying to get this video done before that and uploaded. Uh, so if I'm speaking very fast in this last part of this video, it's just because I'm going to Asia for two weeks and I'm really trying to get this video out before that. So I apologize if it is a little bit fast and if I'm a little bit hysterical and all over the place, but now you know the reason why. Okay, back to the video. Okay, and the next one is to use tape. Uh, use tape, you say? Why? Well, if you want to be a little bit finicky and take something from a bird's eye view, you can tape your phone up in the ceiling um, and then just put it on self-timer and then take your photo. So this works really well, um, except if you have like mega high ceilings and you can't do that. And obviously outside it's maybe not possible. Um, you could also build a little top-down crane. I have a video on that, that is for uh, with a camera, but you could also do this with your phone. And then the second one is to put your phone between your teeth. So I have a video on this as well. So this will allow you to take photos from up above and of your hands without a tripod. So you literally put your phone between your teeth and put it on self timer. And this is such a good trick, especially if you're in a cafe, you have a little nice cup of coffee and just want to take a photo of that. You can use this trick. You will look ridiculous. And um, I'm not, you know, saying that this is sort of something you should do out in public and be also careful. So you don't crack your, if you have like a screen cover. Um, but yeah, this has helped me in many situations and gotten me some really nice photos. If you had your headphones, you can actually trigger the phone camera with the headphone, the volume button. So if you have those um, and you want to take maybe a photo uh, of yourself or something, so you can actually be further away from the camera and then just trigger it with that little thing. Use an app to edit your photos. So I don't know, some people say that, ah, oh, but using filters is faking it or editing it. But I would not agree at all with that. I think it's really when you're editing the photo that you get a chance to really express your style and it's so much fun to see a photo come alive and really give it some boost and give it some mood um, kind of enhancing what is already there and my favorite apps to use is VSEO and also Lightroom and VSEO you can download for free um, you don't get that many filters with the free version but you get all the sliders and really I have a video how I edit my photos kind of vintage style so you can check that one up here and Lightroom is also free and it's just such a good tool um, to edit your photos and really get them to that kind of style you'd like to have them. And the last tip is actually relating to portrait photography. If you take portraits with your phone, really try to first of all keep it very straight uh, because it's easily very, gets very distorted. Um, and secondly, um, do try here to be super mindful about the light, like how you place yourself in uh, relation to the light source, it can really make or break the photo. Uh, so if you're indoors, really try to be close to a window and it's quite nice when you're like next to a window and the light comes from the side or you could also that you're like straight towards the window and then you take it so the light comes towards your face. Um, and outdoors it's, yeah, you will have better light because it's just, you know, kind of all, all around you. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of behind the scenes there. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some use out of these tips. If you'd like to see more of my photos, then come say hi. I'm over at Kutuba Kika on Instagram. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope I did not speak too fast. I feel like I just like boom, went through this video because I have so little light uh, anymore. Um, anyways, um, also if you like this video, then consider subscribing and like this video and leave a comment. How do you take your photos? What do you prefer? Um, all right, this is Kika signing off. Bye. Woo! Bonnet, hello. Please, my 
my cheese and I'll be the biscuit The lock you gave me last night, how I kissed it I hope you don't mind, but I thought that I'd risk it A bee in my bonnet, hello There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello A bee in my bonnet, hello There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello A bee in my bonnet, hello There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello A bee in my bonnet, hello There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello A bee in my bonnet, hello